Christ, the great resurrection. Christ, who had the wings of an eagle. Christ, who came and gave the wings of an eagle to those overcomers that gathered around him. That was the flying eagle. They soared above the tender cat. They rose above the face of a man. They were above a lion. Praise our God. It was the overcomer of the flying eagle. Uh, that's why Jesus said, where their carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Praise our God. I'm not talking about something ground bound. I'm talking about something heavenly. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm telling you right now, all four of those beasts, all four of that multitude of overcomers that came through that period of time, from, Noah, from Adam to Christ, they're around the throne of God right now. They're around the throne. They're in the midst of the throne. And the sea of glass is going to be around them, and that will be the rest of the multitude that will be saved out of the New Testament generation, out of the latter reign from Christ until now, the overcomers at uh, the advent of Christ, the sea of glass, not four beasts, not just four dispensations, not just four, but a sea of overcomers. Praise the name of the Lord. 144,000 in the midst of them, in the midst of them, praise God, and then multitude without number, a sea of glass. Praise our God around the throne of God. Uh, can you see some of this? How many see some of what Brother Marlowe is saying in the book of Revelation here? God is going to give this book to us. God is going to open the church up. God is going to change us. Don't you sit there in that chair and will and die and accept failure and uh, say, I've got to die. I've got to fail. I've got to be tempted. No, you're not. You can be part of this flying eagle. Praise the name of the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord. Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I thank God that I'm living in this fourth beast period of time and this sea of glass that's being made up right now. Praise our God. And so, so when you look at this now, um, and, and verse 8 said, And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within. And they, that's discernment. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. Say that with me. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. Come on, say it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. Which was and is and is to come. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. in me, never, 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 never. Amen. Hallelujah. Which was and is, is and is to come. And here, and he said, Brother Martin, one of those wings, you got us the four beasts, showed us the four dispensations, four time periods. Yes. Well, brother, don't you know there's 12 mighty patriarchs from the Old Testament. Yes. Moses is one of them. Abraham is one of them. Uh, Joshua is one of them. Praise our God. Yes. There's 12. And they're, they're, they're uh, they make up uh, 12 of those wings. That's 24 wings. Uh, uh, six, uh, six wings. And multiply that with a four beast. And from Adam to Christ, uh, there was 12. In the flying eagle period of Christ, there was 12 more. The disciples. They're, 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 uh, they're, they're the covering. They're the covering of this great body yes. of overcomers. Praise the name yes. of the Lord. 12 patriots from the old and 12 from the new making up 24 wings praise our God our six wings bless the name of the Lord I thank God for my covering tonight I feel the four and twenty elders around me amen I feel the covering of the old and the covering of the new I'm not an organization I'm not part of Babylon I'm not part of the world I'm called I'm called to be a part of a flying eagle generation that will soar from this earth and will have life 
in that movie Praise eternal. God. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm urging you to get your heads up. I'm urging you to get your heads up. But Brother Marlow, this is a message just for the young. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's for the old. It's for the young. It's for everybody in this house tonight. You receive this message. You desire to be in that company. And God will help you. Yes. And, and when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their thrones before the, the crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are, and they were created. Bless the name of the Lord. Uh, can you think of the sight? Can you think of the sight of all those overcomers from the Old Testament, and then the days of Christ, and then here comes the four and twenty elders, and they're all about the throne for a brief period of time, seven and a half years. They're around the throne of God. They just do nothing but for seven and a half years, prophetic years in the, in the scriptures, they do nothing but praise God and say hallelujah to the throne, hallelujah to the Lamb. What a day that will be. What a day it will justify our hopes in God, I am sure. Praise the name of the Lord. So, I think I've covered, uh, I've just about uh, kept your attention long enough for you to meditate and think on these things. and. Uh, uh, my, the point of my message, uh, the crux of it is, I don't want any of you to be weary and well-doing. I want you to take your Bibles and study and pray. I want us to fast and pray. I want us to believe. I want us to see the glory of the Scriptures. I want us to not be tempted. And if you were tempted about what that we're able to bear, I want us to be a victorious church. The difference in a victorious church and a defeated church is one thing, faith. And believe. If you believe tonight, you cannot achieve what God has called you to do. You will not. But if you believe that you and Christ are inseparable, unconquerable, and greater than all of the things around you, you will rise above it. You will have victory. You will stay the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. You will crush opposition. You will rise above defeat. Yes. You will feel victory. Yes. Oh, you'll feel it above your pain. Yes. You may have your pain, but you'll feel victory yes. above your pain. Yes. You'll feel victory above dismal things happening around you. Because Christ will fill your heart and life and give you revelation and give you understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to I wanna give one more thought. And uh, I'm going to bring it to a close, and it won't take me that long, and I promise you, I'll be through in just a few uh, minutes, as it were. Uh, but in, in the book of Revelations, further over, let's leave the fourth chapter, and let's go to the, uh, 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 I want to identify this group uh, that I said was about the throne. Look at Revelation 7. Now, uh, here's, a, here's a truth that I, I just recently, the Lord touched my mind on. Seven and one. And after these things, I was I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, or any tree. Most of you are familiar, and said you're under my ministry the last few years, you're familiar with the way I teach, and I have no reason to change until God shows me something else, and I'm open for that. Um, uh, I have no reason to change. Uh, the four winds are four mighty forces that four dispensational angels are reserving and keeping back from destroying our society and our earth and our times until scripture is fulfilled. One of those winds is the ecclesiastical wind, which is religion, world religions, controversial among each other, and we're seeing that now in the Middle East, fighting, fighting, destroying in the name of religion. But God has not let it be turned completely loose. Because if it were turned completely loose, 
your head wouldn't be safe tonight. You wouldn't be safe. God's holding back parts of the ecclesiastical winds. Then the wind of the, the military might, that's being held back because these nations that have the atomic bomb now, have the uh, cobalt bomb, they, the mega bombs, God is keeping them from exploding them. North Korea has it. Who do you think is holding back North Korea and the madman that guides them? Who do you think is holding back the, the weak nations that have these powerful bombs in their possession? Uh, Iran. Uh, they're, 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 God is letting them war. God is letting people be slaughtered, allowing it. Uh, but yet, yet the wind is being held back. And then the social wind. Uh, who's holding back right now the anger that's in the nation? Who's holding back the anger that's in the United States of America of race against race? Parts of society against parts of society. We're seeing a little bit of it come out now. Police officers being shot to death. Citizens being shot to death. We're seeing anger, malice. We, we're, we're hearing a lot of terrible things. Man, it isn't destroying us. We're still able to go. We're still able to have worship. We still have our churches. Someone is holding back those winds. The wind of the social wind. Uh, the ecclesiastical wind, the military wind, then the political wind. Who's holding back this complete chaos in Democrats, Republicans? They're on the edge of it, on the edge of crucifying one another, yeah. blowing up Parliament in London, uh, England, and, and uh, blowing up uh, uh, the legislative body in, in Washington. But yet God is letting them still operate a government, keep a government. Yeah. But they're on the edge, but a wind is being held back. Yes, sir. Right. Because there's four angels that God has said, don't, uh, don't turn them loose. Don't let them blow. Because when they blow, they're going to destroy the earth. And they're going to destroy everything in the earth. But God is holding them back. But here's a great work that's being done. Here's a great work. And verse 2, And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice, and to the four angels, whom it was given to hurt the earth, and the sea, say, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed, till we have sealed the servants of God in their forehead. The mind, the intellect, not the flesh, in the intellect. The last work, the reason these four winds have not been turned loose is because God is in the process of sealing his last servants. Israel, 144,000, and the remnant of the bride of Christ. He's sealing that right now. Right now, he's putting his seal. He said, I don't know who they are. You won't know who they are. It isn't your business. The Lord knows them that are his. You're not to judge anything anyway. You and I, we're to discern. We're to be spiritually minded, but we're not to judge with our human judgment. But God knows them that are his. Yes. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. The Lord knoweth them that are his. <laughs> the Lord knoweth them that are his. But here's what I'm convinced of. I'm going to close on this. After I read this verse uh, in the ninth, uh, in the seventh chapter, I'll close on that. I want every saint in this assembly that has an ear to hear, to learn. I want you to know mine that God is sparing your life. The reason I'm living at 81 years of age, approaching 82, and have the strength I have is because God is finished sealing me for the rapture and for the coming of Christ. Amen. Because I fully believe I'm going to have all in my vessel, and I'm going to be waiting his coming. Praise the name of the Lord, and I'm not letting anything here hinder me. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you whether you want me to love you or not. I'm going to love you anyhow. I'm going to forgive you. I hope you will me. I hope we'll pray together. I hope we'll fast together. I hope we'll get the flesh out of the way. And let's get ready for the final sealing of the bride of Christ. Praise the name of the Lord and the making up of the church. Praise our God. It's a great hour. Yes. When you go down the street tonight, say, thank God the four winds 
from being held back. Oh God, oh God, I thank you for holding back those winds because when those winds are turned loose, they will destroy the earth. But I will not be in that destroying. He will take me out of that tribulation and I'll be sealed. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Christ. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody, somebody shout for me. Praise Promise you, last verse, promise you. Verse 9, promise you. Verse 9, son of the chapter, last verse. After this, yes. when he's finished sealing Israel, when he's counted 144,000 pure Israelites in whom is no God, he sealed them with the Holy Ghost and with the Word of God. He looks over and he sees all of them sealed. But look at what verse 9 said. After this, I beheld and lo, a great sea of glass, a great multitude, four beasts, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people, going back to Adam, all the way to the second advent of Christ, of people, tongues, and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, palms in their hands, palms in their hands. hallelujah, cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lord. And all the angels stood round about the throne, and about the elders. Praise God, what a day. What a day. And the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, Whence are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou wast Praise our God. I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they, John Paul Marlowe, John Stewart, James and John, yes, sir. Isaiah, Joshua, praise our God, Enoch, glory, glory, glory. These are they, Richard Frost, which have come out of, come out of, come out of, come out of. Great tribulation and have washed their robes. In the blood of the Lamb. Praise our God. Therefore they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. You think a few church services and a few hours of preaching and a few serving our generation is worth it? You think it's better on here, in here, than out there? You think it's better under the blood than it is in the world? Are you sorry you ever repented? Are you sorry you ever gave your life? Brother Bush, I remember the night you walked down the aisle and God touched you. My God, you were a police officer. Brother Mike, he was a police officer like you. Praise our God. But God got a hold of him. He didn't know what he was coming to. He didn't know what was going to happen. But that night, and see it out of the book. Oh, yeah, Lord. Amen. Don't you think we have something to praise him? Yeah. Is there victory in the church tonight? Yeah. Okay. Hallelujah. All right. Praise our God. Praise Lord. Let's get ready for everybody to get active. Yeah. Start the gift up. Yeah. Get ready to serve him. Yeah. Let's walk in here Saturday night. Yeah. Praising the Lord. Amen. When we come in that door, Amen. let's get ready for the Spirit yeah. to move on every one of us. Yeah. The spirit, move in the spirit, discern, pray, prophesy, shout, sing, praise our God because we are the happy church. We are the 